we are operating on selective emergency patients because of lack of provisions, uh, lack of IV fluids, uh, lack of antibiotics, nothing to provide. That's Dr. Fazika Amdeslasi, a surgeon in the war-torn region of Tigray in northern Ethiopia. Ethiopia's brutal civil war has been raging for almost two years now, and there's no end in sight as on-again, off-again peace talks remain stalled. Fighting between Ethiopian and Eritrean forces on one side and Tigrayan forces on the other has resulted in tens of thousands of battlefield deaths. The toll on civilians in Tigray and neighboring Afar and Amhara regions has been enormous. Millions have fled their homes, and a lack of medicine and food has made the situation even worse, especially in Tigray, where a blockade has been in effect since last July. In addition, the Ethiopian government has shut down internet and phone services in Tigray. So it was difficult to even reach Dr. Amdeslasi in his hometown of Mekele, the Tigrayan capital. So we asked him to record a sort of audio diary as he went about his week trying to treat patients. My name is uh, Fasik Amdeslasi. I am a surgeon. I work in uh, either referral hospital, either comprehensive specialized hospital in Mekele, Tigray. Mekele used to be a very lively and vibrant city. It was so active and uh, we used to have everything, uh, the city full of life. Now since two years, you don't see vehicles because there is no fuel and uh, we have been in curfew for many months and now there is no economy and most shops are closed, uh, education is stopped, so it has become a very dull city. So that's a very remarkable transition from what it used to be. Uh, this week on Monday, there was this uh, 52 years old uh, female patient. She has uh, a tumor at the gastroesophageal uh, junction. And this woman cannot uh, swallow food, cannot drink water. She came to the hospital and uh, we cannot operate on her because of lack of provisions, uh, lack of IV fluids, uh, lack of antibiotics and the like. So her family, her children were crying uh, the whole day. Where can we take her? What can we do? And uh, we are just uh, uh, looking at some helplessly with nothing to provide. There is a possibility of air strike and shelling. And there is a possibility of that uh, we may not survive or we may die. So I am feeling numbed and dull that uh, I have stopped almost feeling. I don't know how I am feeling. I uh, feel depressed. So that's it. That's how I am feeling. Life in Magale is uh, not as it used to be. Magale was full of life, but life still goes on. You will see a lot of people on foot walking on the streets. There is the anticipation of war and life has become so expensive. And you see a lot of beggars on the street with their kids, with their family. We have numbed our sensitivity. We have blunted our um, emotions. I think we are postponing the feelings. We are denying or uh, suppressing, I think, or kind of some kind of defense mechanisms, I think so. Um, so we have been in this uh, situation in a war for the last two years. My uh, children are at home, not going to school. Uh, I have not been paid salary for the last 17 months. I have a lot of patients which I cannot operate on and treat. So me and my colleagues, we have now uh, a very threatening condition. The war is escalating. And as you have seen on the news, there is uh, there were shellings of and uh, airstrikes of cities. So even our survival or our continuity of our lives is worrying us very much. That uh, since we are not being paid salary, items are not being imported, uh, food is becoming scarce and scarce. We have families, so we were worried that uh, we may go hungry. We may not be able to sustain ourselves and our family. And uh, we hope that we'll be able to feed ourselves, continue to treat patients. So for that to happen, the most important thing is for the war to stop, for peace talk to start. And if the war is not stopping soon, we need food and medicine. That's the most important thing. So my message to the world is that uh, I'm not saying which political party is right, which political party is wrong. 
what I'm saying is we have been denied the end result for 17 months these children are dying patients are dying and the world is quiet about it so please respect basic human rights in all over the world poor rich white black wherever human rights has to be respected so this is what I can say Dr. Fazika Amdeslasi is a surgeon in Mekele, the capital of Tigray in northern Ethiopia.